What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in the crew, Wild Run, and if you remember from the last episode, we're about ready to uh, to drive down to St. Louis, and we're going to try and mix in some of the uh, the Wild Run stuff uh, in kind of in between that. Now we did unlock some extreme spec tuners, uh, like our drift tuner, we got a summit qualifier up here, which we need to go and check out, um, we've got the uh, Xfinity Speed Challenge, but that's like something different, um, we've got... A, we've got an event uh, making, let's see, making a ghost down here in St. Louis, and we've also got a bike dealer, which we're going to check out uh, very soon. So, let's set our waypoint for the bike dealer, I think. We'll set our waypoint for the bike dealer, and we'll go ahead and cruise on down there, and since these are all kind of new roads, we'll, um, we'll, we'll kind of leave the travel time in for this event. So, well, not really event, but we'll leave the travel time uh, in so we got a chance to kind of talk about some stuff and really just kind of drive which is really what the crew is all about when it comes down to it and you come down to think about it so once it loads <laughs> once it loads we should be able to get back into it and uh get going again okay I was like I was like oh come on go 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 so how'd it go good Troy's moving on St. Louis and I'm his weapon of choice looks like you've got a road trip ahead of you Set a waypoint for St. Louis. I'll keep tracking you from here. Oh, and be careful around Troy. He's got a bad rap sheet. Great. I'll be in touch. Oh, crap. I've missed my corner. <laughs> it's still like... I'm still falling in love with this handling. I mean, it's not like they just took maybe a little bit of the old handling model and just tweaked it lightly. They, they, they really took the handling model and really changed it up. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, the crew, like, oh, the handling, blah, 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 blah. The handling is, like, it's properly good now. I mean, it's, it's, it's got, like, that, it's got a good arcade feel to it. It's not like, you know, oh, it's just kind of trying to be something in the middle. No, I mean, it knows it's a, it knows it's an arcade-style racer, but the, the, the handling is still accurate enough to where you can actually feel like you're driving the car. What's up? I saw that 2015 GT coming up, and I was like, what's up, dude? Car looks beast. I wonder if we can beat our jump score. The jump... Oh! Well, that's... Well, he hit it, too. So... Eh, we'll still try and beat our last jump score. Oh, God. Ooh, yeah, we're not gonna beat it. That was bad. That was terrible. <laughs> That was terrible. Yeah, we'll just, like, breeze on past that and, like, pretend that it never happened. So. Oh, dude, we got some people cruising with us. That is awesome. We got to... Whoa, hey. Hey, hey, now. We got to focus... Oh, look back already. Focus RS. And we also got a 2015 GT cruising with us. It's really cool because, like, people just, like, come out of nowhere and it's like, Oh, what's up? That's kind of the magic of the crew, really. I mean, to me, that's where the magic of this game comes from. Let's do some interior view driving. What's the view change button? It's RB. I need to get one of those 2015 GTs. I really need to get my hands on one. They're really cool. I just love the way the new 2015 GTs look. I mean, to me, the 2015 and up, well, really, the 2015 and up, uh, model GT is probably the best looking Mustang they've had in a long time. I know some people really don't like the styling of it. I am on like the completely other end of that. I'm like, I love the styling. So it really all depends on your own personal taste. But to me, I mean, it's just like a such an aggressive looking car. Like, how can you argue with that? Let's see if we can do better on this than we did last time. And go drive fast and stay on the road. All right, then. Not bad. We're ahead of the gold medal. Is that... Oh, crap. Started looking at the, uh, the extreme park off in the distance. Or the arena. It distracted me greatly. I mean, we made bronze. Nothing really too crazy about that event, though. I mean, it's not really even a, an event. It's, we can just keep on going. Continue, please. Oh, what? Oh, I don't like when it does that. 
Well, but at the same time, it's installing new parts. So I guess you have to kind of take that into account. And once you take that into account, you're like, you realize, you realize kind of why it has to do that. We may be getting out on the freeway soon. I'm not sure, though. Oh, God. Oh, it's one of the, these things. Ow. 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 Oh, these are tricky. I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get better at these. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh god. We might get a bronze. Might. I say might get a bronze. We've almost got one. Ow. Only got like seven seconds to go though. We got our bronze. So I'm happy with that. At least we got some kind of medal in this event. Jeez. Really? Wow. Okay. We just like... Just completely ran into a guardrail. That... Oh my god! Someone's in a LaFerrari. Oh my god. That's awesome. That's beautiful. If any of you guys are like watching the video and you saw yourself in this video... Let me know in the comments below, because that'd be awesome. It's been quite the road trip so far. I mean, we've only, like, we're almost halfway there. And, like, we've already been, like, we've had 2015 Mustang GT cruising with us. We've got, like, what, a LaFerrari now. We've got an R34 GTR. Tons of awesome cars. This would be a nice little section for a drift spec car. Oh dear. Oh boy. Steve. <laughs> Man, we need a drift spec BRZ. We need one bad. Get yeah, a little 90 degree corner. Don't want to hit the LaFerrari. I was like, that's like the. That's as, about as far from what I want to hit as like you could get. Just like right at five and a half miles to go. Keep the whoa, whoa, whoa! There's like the oh, sorry, La Ferrari. The, just like the the Dodge Dakota started like swerving right in front of me. That was not Dakota, Dur uh, Durango. Just started randomly swerving right in front of me. It's weird, or it was. Slalom skill. Oh dear. <laughs> Ow! Holy crap! I mean, it was kind of a boost, but still. Ah, oh, that's going to be screwed up. Oh, man. I'm trying to get close enough to where... Oh, my God. I'm still not used to this game. I will say that. I'm still not completely used to this game. It's it's like... It's not that the game isn't, isn't you know... It's not that the physics aren't there with the game. It's this just I'm not... I'm, I'm not practiced with it yet. But the more practice we get, like, the more we go through the game, we'll get better at it. I mean, it's just like, that's how it goes with any game, really. You don't jump into a game and be pro at it immediately. Well, some people on the internet might, but... <laughs> Come on, there you go. Let's, oh, well, maybe not. Like, not hitting traffic would be nice, but sometimes it's inevitable. at our oop dear <laughs> really like the fact that all of the different graphical improvements are here really does add to the uh it adds to the playability of the um of the game now like with uh with wild run it's just like everything is so much prettier i was on the road so you have to stay like not even on the edge of the road you have to stay in between like the white lines and stuff that's like that makes it a little bit more intense Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, we may get the silver. Maybe, maybe, may yes. And we beat somebody. We got the silver and we beat somebody, so. Ooh, that Gallardo is gorgeous. We've been cruising with supercars this episode. That's awesome. Get a little bit reload because we upgraded the Mustang slightly. 
Oh, that thing is sweet. Look at that. Look at that, dude. We've been cruising with supercars. That's awesome. I mean, he's way faster than we are, but that's okay. Oh, need to find this car part. Probably way off in the woods somewhere. Yep, we're closing in. Oh, dear. Ow. Mustangs don't like off-roading. Unless, well, later on we might put, like, an off-road kit on this car, but still. Where is this car part? Probably right near the edge of the water. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There we are. Yes. Now we just gotta get back to the road and get down to St. Louis and get to that bike dealer. I love, like, all the different vehicles that are, like, showing up around us. That's so cool. The summit is available. Rush to play events and earn specific rewards. We will. We will get to the summit, but I'm, like... I want to get down to St. Louis and, like, just kind of unlock the area. And then I want to dive into that bike dealer. I mean, we'll get... Oh, I can see the bike dealer. Yes. But we'll get into the summit. But again, like I said, I really want to get to that bike dealer and get the bikes. Or at least a bike. Then we can start doing, like, crazy jumps and, like, attempting bike stunts. That'll be ridiculous if we can. Oh, yes. Yes, enter. Oh, here we go, guys. We've got the bike dealer. I'll bust a nice little drift. You know, you know how we do things. Oh, man, I'm excited. I'm properly excited for this. Oh, dude. We've got, like... What, enduro-style bikes and... Not even enduros, those look like dirt bikes. Some of them do, anyway. Oh, dude. Indian Scout. KTM 450. Ducati Monster. Kawasaki Ninja H2. Dude, KTM 1290 Super Duke. BMW S1000RR. Oh my god, Ducati Diavol. DFL, however you say it. It's gorgeous. Oh, man, it's gorgeous. We're going to test drive. Uh, let's test drive. Actually, let's test drive this KTM 450. Yes, I do want to test drive this vehicle. I know I don't have enough cash for it right now, but we will. Trust me, we will. I forgot how long, like, they give you for, for time, like, for test drive time. Either that or it's bring it back whenever you want. It might be bring it back whenever you want. I don't remember. I don't remember. We'll find out in a second, though, once it loads. Oh, yes. Here we go. And power! Once you're on the block, should help you decide. It turns in nice. Revs up to like eleven and a half thousand too. Oh my god, she just like basically went through her. <laughs> Try different views. Oh, dude, this view is legit. Hold on, we need to go back to that first person cam. Oh wait, we missed it. There we go. Change down a couple gears. Oh, we can wheelie, and we can fall off, apparently. <laughs> Enter wide. Dude, this thing is fun. We need to... Oh, there's a jump over there. There's a jump over there. Yes, we're going to turn around, like, now. I don't care that we're going the wrong way. It's fine. I found a jump. And go! Yes! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Backflip time. What if we can do front flips? I'm curious. 
I'm very curious. Get turned back around. Change down to the first. Come on! Oh, well, maybe not. Now we can... Now we can go. Don't fall off. Never mind, he fell off. <laughs> Apparently it can knock down... It can knock down, uh... They can knock down light poles. That's cool. Yes! Yes! Oh, it works! Oh, dude, it works. I'm loving this. This is awesome. Can you do any, like... Oh, man. I kind of want to keep practicing, though, because... If we don't practice with these, we are not going to be fast at all with them later on. Go, 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 go! Yes, I know we were a lot slower than last time. It's fine. We took a little bit of a detour to do flips. It's okay. And I know we get three laps. So, we'll test it out for the next couple of laps. And see what we think. Or, actually, you know what? I'm going to abort this test drive because I want to test drive one other motorcycle uh, before we finish up. I kind of want to test drive that Ducati. The one that was like the top bike. The one that looked like so evil that it wouldn't matter how fast it was just considering how evil it actually looks. Skip movie. Already know. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. Not by test drive. And yes, we do. I love how they're like, even though you don't have enough money to test drive this, we'll still let you test drive it. We'll let you test drive our 500,000 credit bike. I think it's actually more than that. I think it is. I think it's actually more than that, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't look at the price. Oh my god, look at the size of that rear tire. That's insane. Once around the block, it's quick. Does decently well in the corners too. It's not quite as like, it's not quite as nimble as that uh, as that KTM was. But then again, they're two completely different types of bikes. Oh, this view is badass. Oh, that is clean. Actually, a really realistic view too. Wow, the brakes. You can just, like, stop immediately. It's like, when are you going to stop? Now? Okay. Actually, it doesn't rev as high as the KTM. I mean, it's not like it's a problem or anything, because this bike is really fast, but... See if it can do flips. Yes! Actually do them even better. We'll do a front flip with it, and then, then that'll be the, the finisher for this test. I love these bikes, dude. They remind me of the Test Drive Unlimited bikes. I mean, they really do. I mean, they obviously drive a lot better, but still. Hit a front flip. Oh, yes. That was awesome. That was beastly. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode of the Crew Wild Run, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel and want to see the next episode and the following episodes, then don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one, talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.